you know what you need to do is you need to go to maintenance and say, you know what, maintenance? It's time to start working around here. We were going to ticket it. You didn't pay. Why didn't you pay? Here we are over a year later. This place was supposed to be done back January 1st. It's supposed to be my New Year's gift. And you know what's going to happen? A lot of people are going to be on the unemployment line. Unfortunately, just to let everybody know, all right, we're here at John's Pass. Why are we here? Because we want to know when are the goddamn rooms going to be done? We've been waiting a year for these things to be done. Jimmy needs a place to stay because I'm getting rid of him. Thank you. You know what? This guy passed by in the car. He either gave you the peace sign or the finger. I don't know which one he did. Well, if he was looking at you, he gave us the finger. I if he was looking at me, he gave us the peace sign. I think it was Vincent he was trying to talk Anyway, to. we got to get this thing done, OK? I don't like things not being done. So we're going to go up there, and we're going to find out what the hell Tony Odegaard has been doing all this time, except milking us like a cow. That's where we're moving Jimmy, right there. He's going to be the lighthouse guy. That way I can keep an eye on everything that's happening the here. The crow's nest. Yeah, you're definitely putting a crow up there. <laughs> oh, and a nest. <laughs> Probably got a new shirt, huh? Thank you. I'm getting skinny like you. So. Very good. And Vincent. We're all trying to be Vincent. We're all trying to be Ben. Here we are over a year later. That's not a year. Over a year. This place was supposed to be done my back goodness. January 1st. It's supposed to be my New Year's gift. But here we are, three months later, or going on four. Let's see what the hell Tony's been doing. It's beautiful. Tony, just a heads up, he hasn't eaten yet. Oh. I asked you, you to have all this stuff painted. You know? You know what you need to do is you need to go to maintenance and say, you know what, maintenance? It's time to start working around here, OK? Maybe you should hang out with maintenance a little. All this stuff needs to be painted. It looks like shit. Look at this right here. Maybe he wants us to be sued and get somebody a cut finger. You were told to do this a month ago by a special company that came in yeah. and told you to do it. I paid somebody to tell you to do this. You know, I'm going to start coming to all the properties. That's the problem. And you know what's going to happen? A lot of people are going to be on the unemployment line. Because I don't like coming to properties and not seeing shit done. Sorry, I'd be here, hey, but I'm hey. too busy pushing papers in hey, the hey, office. Hey. Excuses, excuses. But Ben, not right. an excuse. Well, right now, oh, this room looks like it's almost done. Almost. Come on in, make yourself at home. They're actually putting all this in the dump trailer right now. We use this as the garbage storage, clearing out the rest of the rooms. Now be careful, they're painting. Bueno. Hey. Like they're painting right now, so. Hey, don't touch the walls. We got the walls up. We got it rocked. Now we're at the point where we're painting it. We still got all the trim work to do. Uh, all the roughs are done, electrical, plumbing, air conditioning, fire sprinkler, fire alarm, all the ACs are in, thermostats are in. Uh, he's doing the finished paint right now, starting room by room by room. And the showers, we put all the shower pans in that you saved from uh, the Fort Lauderdale project. We had those left over. The walls were the wrong size, so Vincent had somebody cut them all up into tiles. And so now the tile guy is using them as tiles to put them on the walls. We saved the pans, we saved the walls. Free, baby! So I got something. Free! Over all the extra materials that he bought on another job, instead of him using them or giving away or selling them. Play the clip, Rafal. Play the clip, Rafal. Come on down to Vincent's junkyard and come pick you out some shower wall tile. Come on down to Vincent's. You can pick up some flooring here. We got a nice carpet for sale. We got broken pavers. Well, here's our biggest customer. He bought all our shower wall tile. And the floor tile. And the floor tile. Same guy that bought it originally. Let's go. <laughs> so you paid for it twice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has to pay me in love now. Nice. That's your tile. Look at that beautiful tile. Look it up on Floor and Decor. That tile is 150 bucks a box. You know what's good about this? You got a beautiful view of the surf shop. We do. It's been splendid. Yeah, so here they've already started the flooring this morning. Always pick colors that look good dirty in hotels. You're going to keep them clean, but if a guest sees as much as one hair on a dark floor, it's the end of the world. You still got flooring, you got trim, finished plumbing, yeah. finished electrical. You already got the sinks to go in. So here, everything is actually here that we need to finish. In the back wall there, instead of creating a whole new electrical room, that's going to be a solid metal closet that can't be opened. And then in that closet are going to be the electrical transformer and disconnects for the whole hotel. So we got these explosion-proof fire-rated metal doors. That's what that big money was spent on. 
and uh, the electrician's supposed to be here tomorrow to finish hooking up the transformers. I love this over here. Look at this. This room has the beach view, ocean view. You know, I hate making promises on camera, Rafal, because everything I say can and will be used against me in a court of YouTube. I would hope that we could be open beginning of... I'm excited about working these properties, but nothing excites me more than putting a little skin in the game on this weekend's UFC 300 fight. With UFC 300 pay-per-view on tap this weekend, it's time to bet on yourself at my bookie. Boosted bets and exclusive money bag props give you everything you need to cash in on your fight knowledge. And with the light heavyweight gold on the line in Saturday night's main event, you can stream and bet on it live, right from the sports book, giving you control over the action. Cash out and win, or let it ride with my bookie, baby. You know you're gonna watch the fights this weekend, so choose the sports book that makes it simple to bet and easy to get paid. Put some skin in the game, use promo code MALA, and get up to 50% Sign up bonus. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere, only with my bookie. And please, always bet responsibly. I mean, they just started the floors today and they already have two units half done. They're doing the tile right now. So probably by the end of next week, I would hope that we could be open beginning of May. Yeah, and we have private provider inspectors, so they'll do inspections on our schedule and we just get the CO and we're done. How come there's no window here like the rest of them? So this used to be a big window. When we took it out to put the door in, it was like $1,500 to $2,000 more to get the kind of hurricane impact mold system we needed. So if you look on everywhere that we took a window out, instead of wasting the money on that, we just put a panel in. And we did it on the first 10 rooms too. So it probably saved you six, $7,000. All right, very good. Wrap it up, wrap it up. We gotta get these things done so we can get them rented and make some money. Yes. If you don't get it done, this is what's gonna happen to Tony. He's gonna be locked up. What's the water for? Is that um? So don't worry about it. Water bill, what about the water bill? My dad's gonna flip. We need those rooms to look like these rooms. Better. That's what we're trying to do. Better. better. You built these, these so how can they be better? <laughs> the floors are too dark. Promise, it'll be done before Christmas. I am looking for a job after professional wrestling. So I'm trying my hand at trying to do a little bit of everything, okay? He's going from Vince McMahon to Vince McMalla. That's it, I like it. The problem is, Jimmy, all these people on the outside think that they can just sneak in for 30, 45 minutes, go have a quick drink, quick bite, and they don't have to pay. Well, what's wrong with that? My dad is what's wrong with that. We need hustlers out here keeping everything in order, like a jail. If you don't check on the inmates, and keep them in line, it's gonna be fucking free for all out here. So let's start with this row right here. Come on, Jimmy. What, are we giving them tickets? Listen, we got one rule around here. You know what our motto is? Everybody pay. No pay, no stay. I like it. No, play. no pay, no stay. That's a, All right, that's... so right here, Jimmy, let's start with the first one. Horse country. Do you think they paid or they didn't pay? Uh, I think they paid. All right, let's check. Tag not found. Okay, well, how do you get my Are you this there? car? Oh, that Hurry one. Hurry up, run his plate, well, how, run his plate, see if he paid. Hey. All right, so look, Jimmy, you see what it says? I didn't. Let them park free. All Who right, cares? get a tow truck over here right now. Let them park free. So, Come Jimmy, on. I think oh, we have a problem. Because look, it says tag not found. Okay. You didn't pay. Well, I'd like to be a nice guy and double check and see if they got an employee sticker. Oh, 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 come here, Jimmy. She's sleeping in the car. Oh, my God, that's a double. <laughs> no, it's her. It's her. Hello, careful. my lady. I saved you. They were going to tow you, but I told we them, please don't do it. We were going to ticket it. You didn't pay. Why didn't you pay? She's tired. I She's was, sleeping. I was going to see how much time is left, but I don't know how to do that. Well, I need you to pay something on the break. app. You got the app, right? Let her have a break. She's Leave her alone. She's sitting in a car. It's in park. All right, how much longer are you going to be here? Well, I was just on that cruise and then oh. make some wine and some oh. oh, well, take your time. Yeah, take take your time. We don't want you to get arrested. Take, take your time. time. <laughs> Jimmy clammed the door on there. All right, so we're up to one person sleeping in a car and the next people leave. Let's see if we can find somebody to collect some money from. <laughs> next car. Come on, let's go. 302. Ooh, what they're time? a good one. Good. Content? I don't think they paid. Let's see. Ooh, they paid, baby. 
All right, Vincent showed me how to do this. I hope I did it right. This poor guy's got a $75 ticket, so I'm gonna put it up here right now. I could do this all day, man, as long as they get me a TV and a wrestling show that I can watch in the booth in there, and a radio. How are you? How are you? It's Chicken Man, baby. We're at Yogurt City at John's Pass. Look, they got one for Vincent, too. <laughs> I make sure all my grandkids got these so they can annoy the shit out of their parents. I, I buy them and then you hide I them. I gave it to the German Shepherd and he ripped that thing up, thank God. Work that window. If you had a sign that said, order here. No, that's a good idea. Order here. There you go. Jimmy, you're not supposed to freaking ticket my truck. You don't remember this is the truck we drove in? No, I didn't. I didn't know it's your truck. God, I swear I did. Jimmy, $75. I can't. God damn it. It's only 75 bucks. You know, I can't win anywhere with you. You shouldn't have parked here illegally. I don't think this is a job for me. It's too hot over here. All right, we're paying a visit to the Clearwater Beach Hotel today. And we have the famous celebrity Jimmy Hart with us. Your buddy, Vinny Winnie. Vinny, baby. I love Vinny. We're checking on the property. We've got 99 rooms and an ice cream parlor, two swimming pools, and we're right here across the street from beautiful Clearwater Beach. And here's Jimmy Hart. What do you want to do here, Jimmy? How's it looking? Well, first of all, I'd like to fix a couple of things up. The first thing I'd like to fix up is that lady standing up there. That's going to take a little bit of money. Second thing I'd like to fix up, <laughs> second floor, see how the rainwater's kind of got rust and black stuff coming across the second floor. So what does it need? It needs a little paint job. Well, look at that. What's that guy doing up there right now? Lil Ben's here? I didn't know Lil Ben was meeting us here. <laughs> how are you? How are you? Turn around, turn around. He, he lost a bunch of hair, but he gained a little weight. It's Garrett, the general manager of Clearwater Beach Hotel. Welcome to another day in paradise. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here, come here, Derek, come here. We got two manatees right here, baby. Look at this. <laughs> Jimmy is on it today, baby. Look, two manatees. I love it. It's my brother. And we got a Jewfish. All right, if I was the general manager here, I would get all this black shit up. We did it at Sheridan all the time. We had one guy who just went and scraped shit. I know who could do it, little Ben. <laughs> this area here really needs to be freshened up. We need to get it really clean, and then we need to apply some kind of like, um, what do you call that Sealer. stuff? Sealer. There we go. And make it really nice. Look around. All these big buildings surrounding us. We're the last holdout. We're the only, one of the very few, only affordable places left here. All these big shots of building, we're holding out because we care about affordable vacation stay. I feel like I'm the wagon train surrounded by the Indians. They're all creeping in. They're building air, they're building air, they're building air everywhere. But we're not building. And tell them the best part, Jimmy. No franchise. Oh, that's right. You could do whatever you want to do. You could paint it green, blue. You know why he doesn't don't like franchises? He's worked in a lot of franchise hotels because he doesn't like to do what he's told. Oh, that's the problem with him. I already him. got you telling me what to do. I now like I the got franchise Mr. Telling because me what to the do. franchise tells him what to do. So here we're thinking about also building on this patio. Right now we got Tony looking into building a building on it. So. Man. Oh no, what is it? Emergency, want now? emergency! Jimmy's an emergency waiting to happen. Look, this needs to be fixed right here. Somebody can lean on it and fall into the thing. That's Lawsuit. an emergency? Lawsuit. Yeah, look at this. Lawsuit, look at this. And look right here. Come here, look. Look, look at this. Come here. Somebody can walk by, get ripped on the nails. They ain't got to be fixed. See the nails? I get this whole railing fixed up, all the broken pickets. Very good, Jimmy. Jimmy found us uh, something to fix. He's good at that. He likes spending money, but he don't like making money. You know, while I'm here, you know, I'm really reflecting on, unfortunately, just to let everybody know, we all remember Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm the general manager for Clearwater Beach Hotel and John's Pass. Unfortunately, Stephanie passed away. And uh, every time I come here, I don't come here a lot because it always reminds me of Stephanie. Last time we were in this elevator, you asked if we sold the ice to the guests. <laughs> Jesus. Do you? And uh, Stephanie meant a lot to us. How long have you been working for Ben? Working or being abused? This is where you belong. I don't have an office. Just like in the old prison days in the laundry department. I'll be just fine. Working for about a year, but abused for eight. No, next year will be eight years. And the reason why I picked on her so much, because I only pick on the people I like. You know, the more I like you, the more I pick on you. 
Uh, that's just the way it is. Now, I walk these planks. I don't recommend. Yeah, I like you to walk a plank, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, Stephanie was great. You know, she spent many years here. She started out at the front desk. She ran this place. Right, Left my whole goddamn property empty and deserted. She never complained. She was always caring about the guest. She cared about us. She was a wonderful person, and we loved her dearly. I mean, she gave you your first break too, right? Gave me a lot of breaks. All right, well, maybe she did make a couple of mistakes, but it was because she had a good heart. We were truly, truly, truly miss her, terribly. She, she went through a real battle. It was a terrible past year and a half that we dealt with with her. And she loved the channel, and she loved everybody that made comments about her. I read the comments. I love you guys. She enjoyed it. It was a real big part of her life. Y'all better like this video. She was a real team player, OK? You got your employees. When they come, they clock in, they clock out. You know, and they're employees, and they're working for their paycheck, but not Stephanie. Stephanie lived it. She breathed it. She lived it. Why don't you just push that in? Why don't you push it in? It's rotten. It needs to be replaced. Push it in. Oh, oh she shit. just did it. And you know what I loved about her, too? She was great. You're right. But she agreed with me when we came out here in that last year. I said, why don't we put a, a, a bar patio out here for the people? She loved that idea. I think in her name, we ought to do that. We'll have it, uh, Stephanie, Jimmy, Barr. It's a terrible thing, but you know, listen, when you have people in your life that you know they really care about you, the ones that show it, you know the people that care and you know the people that don't really care, all right? Take care of the ones that really care because none of us last forever and life is short and you never know when it can end. So take care of the people that take care of you and the rest of them, get in the back seat where you belong. Whenever you have real estate, you have to maximize your income potential, okay? This is a great patio here. It's on the waterfront. It's poolside, but nobody really uses it. Why? Because it's hot in Florida. You're either in the pool or in your room or in the beach. The city has agreed to allow us to build approximately an 1,800 square foot building. We could take that building and we could do another retail. We're getting bids right now to build a building here. We build a building. We get a retail shop in here. We already got an ice cream parlor. Maybe Maybe we'll get some sort of surf shop, you know, where they sell all kinds of stuff for the beach. I don't know. Maybe we'll incorporate a restaurant to the hotel. Maybe we'll put a rooftop bar on there and let Jimmy Hart work it. Yay! No, because we'll lose money. We're making no money on this patio. So we have to think about what makes sense. How much does it cost to build? What will the rent be? And is it worth doing? Does it make sense? Because if it makes sense, it'll make money. You want to learn more about doing stuff like this? Come to our show. We're going to talk about value add, how you can make money with the property you got, how you can buy property, what to look for, and how to run it. Come to the show and get around some great people that all they want to do is have a good time and make some money. To the next project. Here we are at Treasure Bay Resort. Book your room. Go to benzhotels.com. Book that room. Look at this. Brenda came in here. She took over. She's got some new furniture. She's got her whole snack bar set up. Since we bought it, did we do paint in all the rooms? We painted every single room. New furniture in all the rooms. New furniture? No. It looks brand new to me. New landscaping. This place is ready to go. And guess what? The biggest opening to the beach is right across the street. Just opened up Jimmy Hart's new bar on the rooftop deck. Look at this place. It's great for your beach stay. Ooh, new floor. I like this. I like refrigerator, this. microwave, sink. It's beautiful. You can go work out in the gym. Chairs, Chairs torn up. Torn up. How the fuck is this? Adam's Family Furniture? Hey, hey you stop. We're on video. We're trying to promote this. Well, display. he edits out all the shit I say anyway. Very nice. Does anybody that works for you ever look at the rooms and go over everything? You look at this room. What, why wouldn't you rent this room out right now? I like this door. Because when I sit in the chair, I'll get splinters up You'll my ass. Splinter up your ass. <laughs> you need a splinter up your ass. I like this hotel because we got water in the front and water in the back. We got all these boat slips here. Okay, there's a boat club here. Look at the gym we put in. That's a real workout. Waterfront workout. What else can you ask for? We did paving, we put in new landscaping. The place looks beautiful. This is what I call the Mexican diet. Taco salad, baby. 
Oh, I, I wanted I love to park it. in the front. No, it's around <laughs> back. I wanted to do this. Oh, Rafal's at the other restaurant. You guys are too fucking much. Rafal's sitting at the wrong restaurant. You're on a freaking phone call for 30 minutes telling someone testify. about testify, how to baby. get out of a lawsuit that testify. they called you and. And I got a freaking another ticket. Jimmy, if you wrote me this ticket, I'm yeah, gonna be pissed. 60. Oh my God. We gotta up our rate. I get, I'm get. i ready to drop you guys off at home. You're working late today. You damn right. Skippy. Okay, I need you to get us out of here, Mon. They're not used to having more than one customer at a time. Did you get married? Uh, this weekend. This weekend. This weekend and Saturday. I'm finally hanging up the guns. <laughs> Give me her number, I'll talk her out oh of it. Oh my, come on. I, I don't know if she knows what she's getting into. Oh, Lord, a, a good thing. I want to be like you one day. <laughs> one day. You don't want to be like me. This is what happens when you're like me. Oh, you make too many babies, man. You're getting married. Yes, Did you sign friend. a prenup or you ain't got nothing oh, to worry shit. about it? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know why he's getting married? Oh, well, that's it. The lady he's marrying, she can't see. He's messing with him. He has he has access to all of your bank accounts. That's you're right. There ain't no him. money in the way you guys have been running the business. We're broke. <laughs> We're broke, man. They took every dime I got. Jimmy, what have you been doing all day with him? He's well, picking we all my properties. At, started out at eleven. Uh huh. We went by and saw a. Um, he's eighty years old. It takes him a long I don't time know to what get the out. He don't even know where the hell he's been today. He doesn't even know where he's at right now. He thinks he's at McDonald's right now. He's waiting for his fries. It's my life. I'm surrounded by cuckoos, man. You know how much I owe this bank? I'm sure I owe him 100 million. But I owe Bank of America 200 million. 100 million and I don't even get a goddamn Christmas card. I don't know why I'm so tired after every place we go with him. Is it just me? Or does he suck the life out of people? People love me everywhere I go, Mon. Oh my God, I feel like we were in there for an hour. If you got a property and you're wondering, should I sell? Should I stay the same? Should I build? Go to benmal.com slash shop and so with Ben. Get me on the phone. Let's talk about your property and what you can be doing to make the most money out of it. Look at this big, beautiful patio we got. Thinking about having a family reunion? You want to have a nice outdoor picnic? The pool's right here. The water's right there. You got a great patio. Go to Clearwater Beach Hotel, book the patio, book some rooms, and have a great time. Subscribe. We ain't hit a million yet. Watch another video. And don't forget about our sponsor, my bookie. Adios, amigos.